Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of YZ Travel Videos. And right now, I'm in Brisbane Airport. As you can see, there's a different change of scenery right here. Because, here's the caveat. I'm flying Eva Air today, and the sad news is that Eva Air doesn't fly to Sydney. Instead, it just flies through Brisbane. The one thing I'm personally excited about is that I'm going to be flying the new Boeing 787-10, which is actually really exciting to me because I mean, I flew one of the very first few 787-10s, however, that was on business class and not economy, and it was on Singapore Airlines, so if you want, check the video out, but this time I'm going to be flying a different airline, which is Eva Air, and I'm going to see what they are like. You'll notice that that queue is for the economy class and the bag drop-off, whilst right there is just for all the business class and the Star Alliance Gold members. Wow, dude. The checking line is just huge right now. Just look back and go this way. You'll realize it's just so big. So here I go. I have my express pass to fast track the immigration and customs and security. And the other thing I have here is access to the Plaza Premium Lounge. So you notice how the departure sign just looks a little bit different compared to the Sydney airport. Well, I don't know, the Sydney airport departure sign looks better, but I mean, this will do, you know, it's good enough. Walking around through Brisbane Airport's main lobby, it's Christmas season, so obviously you can see Christmas tree in the middle, and when you walk around, you'll notice how, like, it's just very, it feels very open-spaced. I just cleared customs and immigration, so it took like 10 minutes, inclusive of security as well, so pretty fast. Although at this point in time, it's around like 8 o'clock, and it's not too slow either so even if you decide to go on express or like this regular security screening there's no difference at this point in time let's actually check the gate first and then go to the lounge they have this travelator here and i don't know why it's not even working it kind of raises the question as to like if you have a travelator here and it's not working what's the point of even having it here so the waiting area of eva air is just empty I'm very surprised because this is a first occurrence. I've never seen this happen before. But so far, it's just so nice to be in an empty area. It's so quiet right here. Just over there, if you can see clearly, that's the EVA Air Boeing 787-10. Now, nothing's happening so far, I don't think. Here's the one airline that I usually really love flying with. But unfortunately, I'm too poor to buy Singapore Airlines today. Well, that means I'm just going to fly Eva Air and just going to cop the miles the other way. I'll be back next time, SQ. I will be back. Okay, so right now, I'm walking around the Plaza Premium Lounge. It's not too bad so far. It's getting crowded because it's night time. That's when all the flights are departing. All I want to find right now is just a seat, and that's just really hard to get. So what we have here is the kids section. I mean, it's not much you can do here, I don't think. But you do have a pretty nice looking chair. Or you just rotate it or swing it around, whatever you want to do. So the first thing we have is the apple juice, the lime water. There's just more orange water and that is just orange juice. So for some odd reason, this design is kind of unconventional because of the fact that it's in square containers. Right, so the Plaza Premium Lounge has got an a la carte menu, so you just order from the menu and then they should cook it up and they'll give it to you. Texas chicken wings, and there's meant to be ham that's inside, but it's not there right now. We have the Nornake cauliflower and the pumpkin. We have roast turkey with cranberry sauce as well as some... Um, what's that? I don't even know. And then that's just your ham and cheese. You know, just some toppings. Here's your toaster, so if you have bread, you can just add that on top. And your cheese platter is just right here, along with the biscuits on the side, and just some vegetables, and obviously some assorted desserts. So the cheesecake just over there is the best one to obtain. So that was the minestrone soup, and just some popcorn and biscuits. These ones are very good, the caramel ones, they're very good. So go get them, go get as much as you can. I've got some, you know, some soup because I've been eating quite heavy these past few days when I'm in Brisbane, so I need something just to cool it down or just eat something light. All right, so second round of offerings. I got the Texas chicken wings and I, whatever the thing was on the side, I don't even know, I, like, I don't even know what it is, but I just got it anyway. And in the background, you can just see the airport. 
If there's a thing I will get, I will get the mulled wine because of the cinnamon. I feel like it doesn't even taste like alcohol. I just had a shower and this is like really refreshing. But the only problem is, look, so in the same room, the shower is not separated clearly from the toilet. And that's a bad thing because the water spills here, 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 all around. The first thing I saw with the Silver Chris Lounge was the better lighting. The atmosphere in general just felt a lot better. The best part of all is that in the SQ Lounge, the cubicles are empty. Yes! This is solely the best part of the lounge. Okay, now on to the most anticipated part. Hot food. So we have vegetarian noodles. We have fried rice. Alright, here's the green chicken curry and the rice. That there's the red chicken curry. The Korean spicy chicken hot pot. Maple baked ham. And then there's just some... Like, just some random cold dishes. What? They have sushi as well. I'm mind blown. And then they have curry puffs. And then they have chicken lap chong stew. What? The food selection is just so much better. Alright, what's next? Xiaolong bao. I mean, not the prettiest looking Xiaolong bao, but this is way better already compared to the Plaza Premium Lounge. Oh, you can make your own laksa here. What? I'm mind blown. Like the coconut, I can smell it already. And then you have all the laksa stations. So your bihun, tofu, you know, your, your chives, your taoge, which is like your bean sprouts and your chili. The difference between the Plaza Premium Lounge and the Singapore Airlines Lounge is that the food selection is just much, much better in the Singapore Airlines Lounge. And also, Plaza Premium Lounge is just really crowded. Anyone can get in with just like, having a credit card or something like that, right? Whereas Star Alliance lounges like this, but this one, you actually need status, so you need gold at the very minimum. It explains why the lounge is just not crowded at all. You either need gold or you need to be flying on business class on that day. And that just says a lot about the lounge. It's probably more exclusive. Now, as for the drink situation, what I've noticed about the drinks in the Plaza Premium Lounge is that everything can practically be only consumed within the lounge whereas with the Singapore Airlines lounges you can actually take the bottles and then just take it on the plane with you which I actually find that extremely convenient because whenever I want to take a bottle of water with me I just take it and just put it on the plane with me So the one thing I'd be crazy to not review is the shower Whoa, so they actually have a proper shower like you see the area is actually separated. You have like a door here which separates the shower from the toilet and the sink is just there and here's a nice mirror. Like it's just so much better. You do have like a baby, you know, baby change point. So you want to change nappies? Go here. Next time I come over, I might want to try out the Air New Zealand Lounge. It's also a Star Alliance Gold Lounge, so that's something that I want to try. So I just got on and I think I'm the last passenger on the plane. Just ran all the way there. Because you know, there's no boarding announcements or anything like that, so it's going to be easily late. Uh, going to have a bit of difficulty trying to get in, but what can I do? Finally on this airline. All right, so it's my first time trying the Hello Kitty airline. Okay, so let me just show you the features of economy class. Here's your screen right here. Um, there's a back pocket there if you want to put anything. Now your table's actually kind of small, but watch what it unrolls. This comes out, cup holder, cup holder. Your meal can easily go here. So that's good. Alright, and the first part, it just, it just inserted itself in. Now, the seat pocket has got some magazines and, a, you know, the safety card. So, always good to read this one. And here's our window, which is kind of big. And these shades, I'll be honest, I don't like these shades, but there's nothing you can do about it. Because it's a Boeing 787-10, so keep that in mind. I'm gonna check the, you know, recline, and I'm gonna see. So if I recline, uh, it's not that much recline, but it's okay. All right, let's see what else they brought. Earphones, 
Oh, this is your blanket? So just over here is just my pillow. So, right, so let's test the leg room. So, here. So basically from that, what we can see is that if you're short, you'll be okay. But if you're kind of tall, like above 190 centimeters, then by the looks of it, you might have a bit of difficulty adjusting to the leg room. So God bless my favorite book of the plane, which is the menu. Let's check it out. So from Brisbane to Taipei, we've got some advertisers and main courses. Ooh, okay. So let's go braised pork or salty chicken. Mm, they don't really look like great choices. So I'll just see what else they've got. So I have alcoholic beverages. Let's have a look at the refresher. So it's just like Chinese and the Western one. So I think the Chinese one's just a porridge and the Western is a scrambled eggs. Judging from what Mike Chen has gone through in his previous YouTube videos, I can probably attest to the same thing that it's probably not going to be that great. But I'll keep my expectations down. So the power pack is here and it takes a lot of types of charges. So keep that in mind. This is actually pretty good. Although the only thing is it's down the bottom, which is not great, could be better. Let's be honest, their safety video is kind of weird, but creative, but weird. So we're leaving. So this thing here is the chicken and potatoes, and I'll see what that's like. It doesn't look too bad. That's like your watermelon and pineapple, I'll try that. Ooh, salmon and potato. Ooh, interesting. And that's your butter. And your bread is just very nice and warm. I appreciate that. I like that. And that's your tiramisu. I'm going to miss that. Chinese selection and the Chinese selection here is the porridge so to be honest the porridge doesn't look great perhaps Mike Chen was right after all the croissant it looks really crispy but I don't actually know then here's some fruit like your, your rock melon and Chinese vegetables um, okay now let's have a look at this jam this jam is gluten free which is not too bad it's good for all those who don't like gluten the final thing we have here is the muesli bar and I might try that let's check their overall in-flight entertainment so let's go to movies and see what they have to offer so let's go to all let's go to all movies but they do it by genre so Let's go to new releases, or let's check it out anyway. Right, so you notice that there's a huge variety here of movies. So I'd say this is very good already. Now what else do they have? World Cinema, they actually do it by category. So you go to all, and then you do the same thing. Oh, Detective Pikachu, yes, Pokemon. And you notice they've got quite a lot, 72 of them. That's just for example, why don't we go to TV and see what they have to offer. Now, if you go to basically all, I mean, oh damn it, look, they actually still categorize it, so that's a bit annoying. So I'll probably go to comedy and drama, that's got a, quite a bit. Music? Alright, Mandarin hits, it's pretty good. Now let's check the map. So when we look at the map, we can tell you what it's like interacting with the map. So it's still loading, I don't know why it's so slow. Alright, now here's the caveat. You think that this thing is basically like, you think it's a still screen, 
now it just turns back into something else. So this is our flight path we've taken so far. So from Brisbane all the way to Taipei, but flying past Philippines. Overhead. Welcome to the toilet. You know, I can't ever go into the, you know, I can't ever go into a plane without going to the toilet, right? So let's check it out. Let's see what they've got. So, right here they have two brushes for free, actually. Turns out I was mistaken. They have earbuds and they have eye masks as well. Then there's their soap section, their rubbish bin, which is a bit dirty, that's okay. And then just your basic toilet and tissues over here on the side. Actually, this is still good because unlike Singapore Airlines and Asiana, they just cut it off completely on the economy class. Welcome to Taiwan or Taipei in this case. Actually, no, technically Taoyuan, but it's been two years since I was last in Taipei and I'm actually very happy to be back here. Let's talk about Ever Air. So this is my first time flying them and I wanted to see the validity of their 5 star rating. What did I think overall? I'd say the service was pretty good, especially because for those who are sleeping, they avoid waking them up during meal time by putting a sticker indicating that. They also let me film the flight, so that's good. The flight attendants were generally quite respectful and were also proactively giving out drinks in the middle of the flight. The food was generally decent, although reports do say it is really a hit or miss thing. The Plaza Premium Lounge was somewhat okay, however it was crowded and could have been larger. This is the lounge prescribed to Eva Rare business class passengers who don't have Star Alliance status. So if you could, just try the Silver Chris lounge that is run by Singapore Airlines. The aircraft itself, being a Boeing 787-10, was decent despite the lack of window shades. It was dark and I was able to sleep properly for 3-4 to four hours. Not to mention that the ventilation was good and the noise was a lot lower compared to older aircrafts. The bathrooms have the free toothbrushes and earbuds, which is a good sign. Not to mention that it is generally well kept. Alright, thanks everyone for watching this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, until next time, I'll see you soon. Laters.